Question six, a clock shows this time and it says 3.40 p.m. How long is it from this time until 5 p.m.? Well, if we start with doing a timeline, so we've got 3.40 p.m. If we round that up to the next whole hour, which would be 4 p.m., that would be 20 minutes because there are 60 minutes in an hour. To get from 40 up to the next whole lot of 60 minutes, you would need an extra 20 minutes. And that would take to 4 p.m. Then from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. is one whole hour. So all we've got to do now is collect together the two small chunks that we've made. So we've got 20 minutes and one hour. Put them together, you're going to have one hour, 20 minutes. So you need to put in here one hour, 20 minutes. The other possible answer they would accept there is if you put a final answer just in minutes. So one hour, 20 minutes would also be known as 80 minutes because one hour is 60 minutes plus an extra 20, 60 plus 20 would give you the 80 minutes. So either of those two answers are acceptable. For the second question, it says, what time was it quarter of an hour before the time on the clock? Well, because it says before, that means we've got to take off a quarter of an hour. And a quarter of an hour is 15 minutes. So we've actually got to subtract 15 minutes from this time. Well, if you do 40 take away your 15 minutes, 0 take away 5 you can't do. 10 take away 5 is 5, and 3 take away 1 is 2. So 40 minutes take away 15 minutes is 25 minutes. So the final answer is going to be 3.25. You could just count back 15 minutes. You could just do it in two stages. You could say, okay, 3.40, take off the 5 minutes would be 3.35. Then take off the 10 minutes would take you to 3.25. Either way, it's up to you. But the final answer is 3.25 p.m.